Hey guys, this is Doombreaker again, and I'm here with another tutorial for you guys. Um, I want to start off by saying that all quality issues that I've been having should be fixed now. And uh, also, I'm going to jump back to my old schedule and uh, bring you a video every Sunday, instead of every Wednesday and Sunday, just simply because I don't have the time for it right now. Um, if you're asking yourself why, it's because I bought more than $4,000 on equipment for YouTube and I need to learn how to use it so it takes a lot of time but it's not wasted time so you are going to see a, a rise in quality in my videos later on so um, yeah let's get started um, today we are going to make a key gen like this very simple but the special thing about this key gen is that it doesn't give you a random string but it gives you a string and you chose the random character so this first letter as you can see is always a B this one this one here is always a number this one is always an uppercase letter and so on so how do we do this we are using a mask like this so the b is going to be a b the uh, at is going to be a number the dollar is going to be an uppercase letter and so on and so forth so um let's get started so first we need to import system.text just because we are going to use a string builder here and uh, we declare a string called str here uh, you can name it whatever you want but uh, yeah then we are going to declare two private constants uppercase keys and lowercase keys so we just put the alphabet here uh, with uppercase letters and here with lowercase letters this is just because um, the computer doesn't know what um, uppercase keys are and uh, here we just basically declare all the possible uppercase keys so yeah then we are going to use a function that we are going to recall here in our button.click so the function is a gen mask I call it here by val so the input as you can see is going to need to be the mask as a string and it's going to return a string so we declare output as a new string builder we declare random as a new random and then for c as integer is equal to null uh, null oh my god i said that in dutch so um, anyway is equal to zero to mask dot length minus one so yeah that's some basic math then you put an if statement so if mask c is equal to an add sign then the output dot append so uh, it's just going to add stuff um, is a random number from 0 to 9 so you can change that to 10 but I don't see the point of it in a um, in a come on help me out in a key gen so just put 0 to 9 else if the mask dot C is equal to a dollar sign we are going to say that um, the output dot append is going to be an uppercase key and the random is going to be a random from zero to the length of the uppercase keys so um, it's basically the same here as this but we have only nine numbers and here we have 26 letters so if you want you can put 26 here but I put uppercase keys that length just to uh, 
make sure no um, errors are shown then we just put the same thing for um, the lowercase keys and if it's not a add sign a dollar sign or this it's going to just put the character that is there so if we examine the max mask here um, you can see the B is going to be a B Wow that's a strange sentence and the L here is going to be an L if I put an let's say here an M this is always going to be an M also if I put um, a slash this is always going to be a slash same thing with the minus symbol so um, and then we just return the output and we do a to string because here it's a string builder and we need a string so we just say to string then this is our function here we can say in the button one dot click section we can say that str which is our string is going to be the function gen mask with this mask which is going to return this so um, yeah and textbox one dot text is going to be str what you also can do is um, just remove this cut this and put it here this is going to do the same thing but if you want your um, generated key to be stored in a variable to use it somewhere I don't know you can always uh, do the method I did before so if we just undo this like this and if we debug it as you can see the slash is now here the M is now here so uh, yeah that's basically how you make a key gen you can uh, use it to make your own applications um, I'm going to stop the video here and I'm going to show you another clip of a key gen I made for a, a program that I made so alright I'm back and this is the key gen that I made for my software so as you can see if I generate this it's going to give me the key and also a, a sh a 512 hash so this is an undecryptable hash and what do I do with it I put this in a text document on a server the software I made is going to um, so the customer is going to input this key it's going to encrypt it so it's going to say this text and it's going to check if this text is in my text document so yeah that sounds a little complicated but it really isn't and um, if I want I can also send this hash to a customer so that's also really handy um, what I'm going to do in the future with this is uh, I'm going to let it generate for example a hundred at a time and save it to my text document so I don't have to do it manually but uh, yeah also uh, I forgot to mention in your program make sure your text box one is set to read only uh, that way the user can't input text here so as you can see I'm typing stuff and nothing appears um, yeah that's it guys um, I'm going to give you a tutorial on this hash later on but uh, for now I hope you enjoyed the video if you liked it please click the like button below um, if you like my stuff if you like my tutorials please subscribe and uh, I'll see you next time Bye.